Hello, hi, welcome. Ugh, starting a teensy bit late tonight, but uh, that's what happens when you plan to move houses. You have to, you have to pack boxes at night when people are sleeping. But I'm here. Hi, hello. Uh, we are back tonight playing a Genula Clue Detective Vu. Um, and when we last left Jenny, she had just finished traversing. I mean, they call it a lake. But it's not a very good lake, for being totally honest. Um, it was really more like a combination of dangerous uh, straits and inlets. But uh, navigated that and uh, made it to the, to the uh, almost done bridge. And now I think we have to get to our house. I believe that's, that's where we left off with Jenny. So, uh, I also don't remember what screen I was using. Eh, probably, let's go center right today. Okay, we'll mute this. All right. Oh, right, yes, this is a controller game for reasons. I wonder if I can do a scene select to f get the missing card pieces. But I've missed one postcard piece so far. And yes, that is Jenny in her pajamas, uh, driving the SS Susie, which she stole from Susie's house. The night was still and quiet on the far Pretty side standard. of the lake. No one ever comes down here, not since they stopped repairing the bridge. And yet it was hard to shake the feeling of being watched. This is CJ's fault. He really believes all that stuff. Once you start to see things, there's no going back. I wonder what he meant by that. CJ is an absolutely buck wild, crazy Doc Brown knockoff. Uh, nope, that's not what I want to do. I want to go. Nope, still not what I want to do. That's the button. Okay, so yeah, we are currently at the bridge. <coughs> Can I zoom in here? Like we, so we did all this dumb stuff. That's Susie's house right there. Um, so we're at the bridge, and now we have to make it through the Forgotten Woods, I believe it's called, and to get home. Oh, I already got a thing to find. Look at that. Look at that. What was that? Oh, yet another collectible. This game is chock-a-block full of them. What do we got? Ah, oh, sticker. Hell yeah. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Forgotten Forest Trail. Voted most likely place to be eaten by bears. Arthurton Gazette. Cool. Cool and good. Oh, there goes the power. Perfect. Just as I'm about to enter the spooky woods. The good folks at Arthurton Power mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. Light were not easing Jenny's fear of the dark. Of course, this was the very reason Curfew They had so much stuff. Oh, I think you've, you've played through the game. Uh, what is it? I'm going to say Poke Cliff? Or is it Poke Clee Final Fantasy VII TV? Also, I want to see something off in the water. Right. Up we go. Into the forest. And who's going to come out of the water? No? And the art style is so weird in this game. Like, the, there's like a parallax effect with the ground and these stones representing the walkway. Jenny's imagination ran wild. In the darkness, every sound was a threat. Every shadow, a monster. But she was nearly home, just a little further. I'm just trying to copy the actual narrator. Oh, this is normal and cool. Yep, totally fine, normal stuff.
Oh, it won't even let me sprint, so I really gotta soak in the ambiance. The whispering is fun, too. Kind of like it. Oh, I dig it, too. I actually really love the uh, the art style in this game. It's just, like, some of the, the, the fun little quirks of it. Like, if you look at the rock in the top right there, it's literally hovering off the ground. Oh, that was sneaky. Ah, uh, hell yeah. I'm allowed to run here. What happened to the bridge? What happened indeed? It looked like Jenny had reached a dead end. She had no choice but to return to Susie's house for a comforting mug of hot chocolate. Oh man, hot chocolate would be I'd nice right now. I'd to my death. All right, Jenny. Get ready to plummet to your death. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It was a terrifying drop to the rocks below. Surely she wasn't contemplating jumping across. Yeet. Mom always says a great detective takes calculated risks. Is this calculated? So let's do the math. Okay, that's what, like... Conservatively a 10-foot jump? And Jenny is... A child? Six feet my ass. Okay. The bridge is too weak for a running jump. Strong tailwind? There's no way it's strong enough. Taking into account the strong tailwind. And factoring in my athletic prowess, or Wait. lack thereof, mm -hmm. there you go. I could make that jump two out of three times. <laughs> Not bad odds. Ha Wait, Terrible hold on. Odds. <laughs> well, here goes nothing. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, maybe the odds weren't so good. And now uh, she one was out of three, you know. A splintered plank, one slip away from certain death. It's just like climbing a tree. Just don't look down. Don't look down. Now hold on. Oh, I can't go up. Okay, fine. I'm already on this side. Let's do this. Let's see. Where the hell is it? So it's back up. So all that was literally just to get that uh, singular item, which I'm totally cool with. All right, scooch on over here. Real? I have really? She didn't make the six foot jump, but she would definitely make that one. Hmm. Okay. Well, oh, all right. Yeet. <laughs> Was this the end for our tiny hero? As her spindly muscles began to give way, an image flashed before Use Jenny's your eyes. legs, Jenny. Her mother, dangling from a ledge, unable to pull herself to safety. How could she possibly save her family when she couldn't even save herself? I can't give up now. Mom needs me. 
Quick time event. Jenny had barely survived. Was she really prepared for the dangers that lay ahead? I mean, when you nearly die two times. It's too late to turn back now. In the span of about a minute. You're probably a lot more suited. And also just riddled with PTSD. But that's a future problem, you know? It might have been her recent brush with death, but Jenny's heart was pounding in her chest. That's not my heart. That's... CJ's compass. Oh, right. This the thing. Was shaking like crazy. Yeah, secrets to find or something. Kick it. Fuck this tree. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Daniel wants us to go in the hole. Oh god, I don't know if up here is, like, secret stuff. I feel like the needle was, was plot-driven. So hold on. Okay. Like, is this where I'm supposed to go and the needle was side quest, or... The other way around. Hmm, that looks like it can jump down, and that also seems one way. Okay, to the needle. Speaking of secrets. Yeah, I just don't know if CJ's thing is the side line or the main line right now. Secret beginnings. Uh oh. Is this what the compass was pointing to? Jenny paused for a moment and listened. It was quiet but distinct. A constant pulse. Mechanical. Unnatural. Man-made? But other than the sound it emitted, this rock was like any other in the forest. I'm gonna be honest. That's a pretty big differentiator. Um... Postcard piece. Hell yeah. Curious. <clears throat> oh, we've completed a second one. Beep. Uh, I have no idea where this one goes. Uh, yeah, can I just. Yeah, okay. Can we start with the obvious, please? Thank you. Plug in here, yeah. Plug in there. And you plug in there. There we go. Two postcards down, except I've missed one piece of postcard somewhere at like the first act. Hmm, okay. Well, glad we did that. Up, up, up we go. We found the piece down there, so we can safely do this. Is this really a science detective story? Ah, uh, I mean, it's got... I think it's got some, like, secret government conspiracy stuff. Woo! Or, like, shadowy... Whoops. Whatever the hell. Like shadowy cabals or what have you uh my mother is is being framed for uh the murder of the dean of the local university that everyone loves that's why we're doing all this because we saw the the science being sci-fi i don't think it's sci-fi i think it'd be low sci-fi if anything 
Like, I don't know if aliens are actually in involved or not, or if it's just, you know, postcard crap. Um, but we saw the Dean's very dead body and investigated it. And we know that he died from, like, an explosion and is being claimed that uh, my mother, like, pushed him off a ledge and, like, that's not how it went, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then we tried to chase after the actual murderer and we fell, like, 20-some-odd feet and passed out. And, uh... When we came to, mom was in prison. We went into a fugue state where we went to the funeral for the Dean and were ranting and raving like a lunatic. And our best friend, who is the Dean's son, uh, basically like told us where to go. Sorry. Like understandably. We don't remember any of that, but we saw a There's newspaper. Under there. <gasps> Clear them leaves. This is a lot of tapping. Ah, oh, shit, yeah, latch. Jenny had spent her whole childhood exploring the woods behind her house. But I've never seen this before. Then she remembered CJ's words. People don't see things they aren't looking for. She knocked on the rusty metal. Hollow, it's a trap door. I mean, yeah, dog. That's a cool fucking sticker right there. Watch the other two videos. Oh, okay, so you're up to speed then. I can't make assumptions about uh, what people have and have not seen. All right, so we got a button. What a strange device. The wires are connected to the door. Is this literally this same puzzle again? Are you serious? I can't believe that's literally the, the third time that's happened. I mean, why even have that on there if it's controlled by the butt? That just seems redundant. A stale metallic odor filled the air. We should definitely go in there. Peered into the opening. It sure is dark down there. Too dark. But I can't just leave this unexplored. I have to see where it leads. And so Jenny descended blindly. Into sure, the sure, 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 sure. It's not like your mom's being framed for murder or anything. We got time for this. But what if he didn't? Oh, I see. <laughs> Never mind. Down the hole we go. Also, Poker Cliff, thank you for actually watching the other videos. I never know when people have or have not seen any of those uploads. Uh excuse me? Push the button. What could go wrong? <laughs> Sad noise. Mm, that's probably fine. This is also still fine. That didn't sound good. In all her short life, Jenny the Clue had never found herself in such a peculiar place. The town that once seemed a mm -hmm. small lifeless pond was suddenly an ocean of mysterious possibilities. Equal parts terrifying and intriguing, it was... Incredible! Yes, an incredible mystery in her very own backyard. Okay. What do we got? We got a machine. Equipment. Computer. Anything up. Alright. Um. 
him. Hold on. Oh, excuse me. Oh, whew. excuse me. I never knew what this was when it came out. Yeah, I, I, I just missed this one Looks coming out. And broken. Okay, what do you got, machine? Jenny White ah, yeah, okay. Layer of dust. I've done this shit before. <laughs> Clearly, the equipment had laid dormant for a long time, and yet... It's so... futuristic. Straight out of those comics Keith is always reading. Starship cadets and the race for space. It feels... Alien. No, it doesn't. <sighs> now I'm starting to sound like CJ. There must be a logical explanation for all this. But its purpose would remain a Frequency mystery. Frequency gain filter Deadly tracking. This is just a soundboard. Interface. I'll just press all the buttons and see what happens. Oh, dear. How do I turn the dial? Okay. Alright, so that stretches them out. Okay. What's gain gonna affect? Yeah, okay, gain's doing that. Let's have a forensic lab for mom. Uh, so, where are we? About there? Nope. Back more. Yeah, okay. That looks rightish. What's this knob do? Okay. okay. Alright, so now they're all going in the same direction. This looks complicated. Nah, I just gotta get some stuff to line up. Worst part is the tank controls. So that's gonna do that. Bring you down to like there. Uh. Okay, there we go. Almost there. I just gotta fuck with this one. There you As Jenny go. turned the dials, she heard something hidden in the static. A voice. This ain't your what your boy's first uh, radio frequency line up the lines puzzle. That one was an unforeseen incident, I'm pretty sure. Animals and numbers. Animals and numbers. People in the future sure talk weird. Was it a cry for help? A shopping list? Oh, no, it's just one of those old like spy radio codes. Whatever it is, it must be important. And so she transcribed it in her journal. Oh, yes, and we were here. You're right. Rabbit 49, Bear 78, Whale 36, Rabbit 55, Weasel 23, Wolf 51, Bear 8, Hawk 30, Rabbit 21. Okay. Oh, now I'm allowed to inspect crap? There's something stuck to the bottom of the ladder. It was just a blank piece of paper. Or oh, was it? it? Jenny <laughs> traced her finger over the page. She felt the clear indentations left by a pen. I know exactly what to do. Do you? Oh, okay. Well. It worked. Okay. One, two, three, four. It was a code of some kind. Not a very the original one. Least secure code. God damn it, Jenny, stop taking my lines. Please Fucking kids these days. One, two, three, four. Code accepted. System authorized and armed for activation. Armed is always a good word. Pull the lever, Kronk. Okay, this is probably fine. Magnetic transducer coils targeting. Rotation and phase harmonics stabilized. Commencing experiment gate module 37. Uh. This 
probably fine, right? What's happening? Radioactive safety margins cleared. Running at 54% efficiency. It says it's working. That's terrible. But what's it doing? 54 percent a healthy employee is an effective employee please leave the station for your mandatory 15 minute smoking break decompressing spherical chamber what the hell i should get out of here before my skin melts off Achievement unlocked there, buried secrets, whatever that does. So what did we just do to the outside world? Uh huh. Boulders must have weighed a ton each, yet they floated in the air like balloons. <gasps> CJ said he saw a swarm of UFOs circling the Forgotten Forest. Was Jenny beginning to make sense of CJ's wild ramblings? <laughs> I'm broken to aperture I'm science. I need a bucket of coffee to unpack all this. Now I'm curious. If that did that to there, what about CJ's thing down below that we found? Uh, I can't go back to it. Okay, never mind. Please don't run under those rocks. What did I just say? Oh God. Is that the third or the fourth time we nearly died in this sequence? No squares allowed. Oh, hey, it's my, my, uh, uh, what the hell is it called? Treehouse. Our old fort. It didn't look like much, but this treehouse had once been Jenny and Keith's favorite hiding spot. I could never climb up there on my own. Keith always had to help me. They schemed and planned and swore never to let anything come between them. Yeah, she and about the whole ranting her. at the funeral thing. What was that? Are you for fucking real? Steven! 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 What? Did you hear that? I'm telling you, man. Not this again. Something's out here. Something big. Buddy, you gotta chill, big. Fucking chill. There's nothing there. But I'm getting some super spooky vibes, man. For the last time, Kevin, the radio's off for emergencies only. That was lucky. I need to be more careful. The house was swarming with police, but she okay, knew so no this sprinting. place like the back of her hand. Do I? If anyone could find a way in, it was Jenny LeClue. I mean, obvious answer is the basement. Front door doesn't seem accurate. The chimney seems ridiculous. More stickers. Stickers or gallery or whatever. My room. And inside. My detective gear. The window looked a promising point of entry. I could oh. climb the tree up onto the roof. Uh huh. But as Jenny knew, all the windows on the second floor were bolted down. Dad did it after a raccoon got in and trashed the place. That's fair. I lived in Toronto. Uh, so just to get this straight, on your way home, you stumbled across the secret mad science lab. Yes. But that was after nearly falling to our death twice and some other stuff. 
Jenny recalled the Christmas Eve yes. when she <laughs> climbed down the chimney and discovered how difficult the jolly old man's job was. And dirty. There's definitely a cleaner way in. Oh, look, it's too good. That's Mom's room. Her window is bolted down just like the others. Now I think about it, that's a real fire hazard. Yeah, I was actually thinking that myself. Jenny could try to climb the tree. But I already see an easier way in. Not going in that way. What could the police have found inside her house? And if they found what they're looking for, why are they still here? Indeed. Dang, they've got the back door covered too. Dang. I carved that jack-o'-lantern. How normal life had seemed just days ago. For a moment, Love the she hat. missed that life. There'll be plenty of time to carve pumpkins once I've saved my mom. It's tempting. But Jenny couldn't risk being seen by the police. Mm-hmm. There's probably a sneakier way in. I mean, I know I want to go into the basement. Like, I know that that's the answer. I'm just interacting with all the things. Out of the police's line of sight, the basement was her best entry point into the house. Except that window is locked, and all my lock-picking gear is inside. Okay, I'll do the other window. The window was ajar. The frame damaged. Somebody broke into my house. Mm. That's my job. But who? The police had used the front door. Whoever it was, that's my way in. Okay, cool. And now for the mandatory stealth section. To get to the basement window, Jenny would have to creep carefully past the police officer. One false move and the game would be up. Okay. Hey! Fuck off. I'm redoing that. I don't like that. That was way too close. Oh, I may not be able to. Hold on. Alt F4. That sucked. I did not like that. And yes, I will save scum this because I don't feel like getting caught just because of the weird sequence thing. Scene select. I wonder if I can just do the scene select. You, what happens when you get caught? You fail. And it goes to a different whole plot line. And I don't want to do it. Basically. That second one seemed faster, and I don't know if that was... Like, you do not have... Oh, wow, that's really close. Oh, boy, that timing. That honks. Like, the rest of that is actually really easy, but that first sequence is actually brutal. You have to get that absolutely perfect or it doesn't work. Someone definitely it's kind of lame. This open. Would Jenny enter the dark basement? I mean, yeah. There was probably something I could have picked up there or something. It was an odd feeling, breaking into her own house. But as she squeezed through the basement window, Jenny felt a rush of excitement. I could get used to this, she thought. And that's when she just turned to a life of crime. Jenny was in, undetected. Home sweet home. Hacker voice. I scummed. What the heck? Who left this here? Jenny's father oh, that guy had never started. carried a briefcase, and her mother couldn't afford one. Let's see who this belongs to.
Do I have, do I, am I supposed to know this number? Oh, hold on. Yeah, okay. There we go. I did get a four digit code. This one's not, uh, isn't the same though. You can see the thumbprints on these ones. Who carries around a fancy briefcase with a children's book inside? Wait, this book's familiar. The Hawk and the Weasel. Hang on a second. Yeah. I Didn't saw that at the, the at the murder She's scene. Seen a copy of it next to the Dean's lifeless body. In the library. There must be something significant about it. It's pronounced a library. Okay. Okay, a page has been uh, has been ripped out there. But first. Zoom out for a second so I can see where things are. I see, I do see the numbers written around some of these things. I'm just looking for stickers first. Nope, oh, damn it. Stickers and gallery items, etc. That's yeah, all of the pages. So yeah, everything has like it goes with that code, right? Um, so hold on, zoom in. This feels familiar. Does it? I've seen it before. Wait, no, I've heard it before. On the radio in the underground lab. Yeah. Could there be a connection between the cryptic radio message and this book? Mm -hmm. Let's find out. So, Rabbit 49. Wolf, Servant. Mm -hmm. mm. So rabbit forty nine. <laughs> Which one's this supposed to be? 32. Stenography 101? I... maybe? Okay, I don't know why that was... I don't have to get it, I just am going over the letters. I just... I wish I could do this smarter. Like, why is this gonna be soon? Like, that was rabbit 49. So why was that 49? Is that word count? Okay. Oh, that's why it says at the end of the sentence, because that tells you the number up to there. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. So rabbit 55 should be... Oh. And why is it they?
Oh, okay. Sure. Uh, whale 36. Uh, soon they... Will, yeah. Uh, which one's Weasel? Go back. Weasel 23. Ooh, okay. Wolf 51. Soon they will all listen, relive their rancid past. Cool. The message read like a threat. But from who? Could it be a message from the Dean's killer? Dun dun dun. Let me get this straight. Someone's broadcasting a sinister message in code, which is being picked up on a radio in an abandoned laboratory hidden in the forest. And the secret to decode this message is written in a children's book? which was locked inside a stranger's briefcase in my basement. All of this was true. Glad you're saying this all that aloud, Jenny. any less crazy sounding. But not all mysteries could be solved in an instant. Sometimes questions had to percolate, like a good cup of coffee. Only then would the answers become clear. I guess I'll let it brew for a bit. But right now, I need to get to my room and find my detective gear. Okay. For more beer. Are you? Excuse me? You're taking my beer? You make yourselves at home, why don't you? Yeah, what the fuck? Forget about it. There's more in the back of the fridge. They better not eat my cookies. Jack Percolating why? coffee is a terrible <laughs> way from coffee. Too. I'll take your word for it. Hey, have we searched down here yet? You lose one game of cards and suddenly you want to search the house. Can't handle the pressure, eh? Says the guy. Those, sir, are fighting words. You want to put your money where your mouth is? Like, says the guy who was freaking the hell out because he our heard a squeak snap. Everyone. There was no way Jenny could reach her bedroom without being caught by the police. Which means I can't get my detective gear. Great. But this was a basement. A veritable treasure trove of old possessions. Surely something around here would prove useful? Maybe. But I can't see a thing. Let's shed some light on the situation. Seems like a bad idea. Of course the fuse is missing for the lights. Jenny wasn't prone to sentimentality. But seeing her father's desk, the disorganized muddle of books, photos, and the just left all this down here. More reminders that her dad was here not so long ago. Miss you, Dad. Mom must have kept it. Hold on a second. This is the one, right? Yes. Oh, okay. A tragedy befell Gumboldt University this morning when an experiment in the chemistry lab went wrong. An accident caused a destructive explosion, killing one scientist and injuring several others. Though I, the area was immediately cornered off and no one allowed in due to the potentially deadly chemicals involved. While the investigation is still ongoing, police have identified Henry Leclou as the scientist killed in the explosion. He is survived by his wife, Julie, and daughter, Jenny. Dean Strasbury, head of the school and close friend of Leclou's, gave a statement on campus this afternoon. What a tragic and unpreventable accident. Henry was working with dangerous chemicals, and it looked like he made a grave error. He was under a lot of stress. People make mistakes. We have lost a great friend and neighbor today. That sounds like a cover up. The Dean called the lab explosion an accident, but everyone in town seemed to blame dad.
<laughs> Danny's dad was murked. Oh, 100%. Ah. He was 100% offed. Accurate inspections report. I've never seen this before. Accurate inspections report. Complaint. On May 14th, an anonymous source filed a complaint with the university regarding the lack of proper ventilation in the labs. The equipment we have is old and frankly dangerous. It's only a matter of time before someone gets hurt. Process. Inspections of the facilities revealed a dangerous and unsafe work environment. Despite several violation notices and follow-up inspections, the school consistently failed to address non-compliant safety standards. Conclusion. Uh, John Ackert. Don't let anyone work in that lab. It's a death trap. Recommend immediate closure of the facilities until new uh, uh, upgrades can be made. October 5th. Uh, and approved by Leslie Strasbury. Okay. So that's important. The dean signed the report. Someone had circled the signature in red pen. Indeed. October 5th. And the date. That was one week before. Her father's accident. This contradicts the newspaper article which stated my dad made a mistake. Mm -hmm. Everyone in town blamed him for the accident. Mm -hmm. They were all wrong. The lab was unsafe. He mm -hmm. shouldn't have been working there. And worst of all... Dean Strausberry knew. But he still let my dad work there. Any rational mind could see it. Strong evidence linking her mom to the Dean's death. Yeah, that's awkward. This doesn't prove anything. But it was a clear motive for murder. Revenge. Yeah. My mom wouldn't do that. But who else would, would she? see it that way? There must be an explanation. I just don't know what it is yet. I'm trying to decide how this Jenny, like, how far does this Jenny go? She already took mom's ID. If I take, I feel like if I take all the evidence that kind of links her to it, that seems almost more suspicious because there's nothing to say that this wasn't found at some point. You know? Or if I'm caught. I'll have all this evidence on me. Which I feel like is the more likely thing to happen. No, I'm going to leave this one. Jenny did the right thing and left everything as she had found it. Her mother would be proud, but would she be grateful? Mom's innocent, so she has nothing to hide. But how would it look if the police found this evidence? I'll just have to solve the case before they do. Maybe you should put it back. You know, put the pile of the things back over it. You know, no? Alright. Okay, there's Aha! the fuse. The missing fuse. Mending the molecular, molecular bonds of marriage. A scientific journey to rediscovering uh, love and chemistry. E. This was years ago. I looked like a kid. One of yeah. the rare times that dad wasn't making a goofy face. He used to say, serious people make serious mistakes. Mm, we'll take that photo. I might uh, need this later. Results of restorative uh, transducive coupling experiment, phase 7. Possible changes after initial phase cycling and post dynamic quantum tunneling has transpired. Observed changes in higher dimensional planes has led to a regression in phase modulation of radio frequency spectra. Bandpass filtering has produced no differentiated results, and advanced holog holography has not shown any positive change either. 
Further study is required to identify narrow beam uh, secure spectrums from which to transmit future communications. Hmm. Okay, here's volume one. Mending the molecular bonds of marriage. Mom and Dad both worked an awful lot. Jenny rarely saw the two of them together. It's awkward. Anything else? Okay. This one test tube looks recently used. The others are all covered in dust. A small puddle of liquid had pooled on the desk. Looks fresh. Still sticky. What is it? A field guide to fascinating flora. Weiss, Felding, and Strasbury. Written by Weiss, Felding, and... Weiss. Strasbury? Did the dean write this book? Well, amongst others. Fantastic, thoughtful, earnest. Do I need to know about this? I'm just gonna. How do I get out of this? Oh, there we go. Today, I love you one molecule more than mom, Jenny. Yes, you promised to take me for donuts, don't forget. Okay. I believe that's all the things on the desk. Jenny would need to work quickly to remain undetected. Who knows when they'll come back? Now, where's the most likely place to find a makeshift detective kit? Probably in the boxes under there. I want that thing. I can see it. I want it. Right under here where there's a bunch of light still. A shaft of light peeked through the boxes. There's more stuff back there. I just need a way through. Oh wait, hold on. Hold on. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> Zelda jingle. Me, 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 me. Jenny's instincts had been correct. CS1 supplies, huh? Back wall of the basement. There's probably something useful here. There's a lot but of it boxes. Would take forever to search through them all. CSI supplies. I mean, I saw that, that on my own. Old gear. That was a weird musical sting. Sticker. Gallery. Anything else? Got a flashlight. Good, 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 good. Mine, but at least it works. A bong. It's a flashlight and a bong. More or less. Okay. okay lock picking stuff. My key to the city. An old set of lock picks. Wildly illegal to have. Good, good, good. Tucked away at the bottom of the box, something colorful caught Oh, hell yeah. Eye. My detective jacket. She pulled it carefully from a container and it's the real deal now. 
This must be Mom's old jacket. It smelled of formaldehyde and fingerprint powder. From her CSI days. And so, she tried it on. It should be way too big. It's not legal to have lockpicks, only use them on locks you do not own. That's still... Oh my god, please don't tell me this is just the title screen. Fits like a glove. It shouldn't. Oversized glove. Okay. Mm, and it smells like mom. Her mother had never felt so close. That was a very Yet late so title card. Away. A concerningly late title card, one might say. You away from me too. Jenny's search was complete. It's not the world's best detective kit, but it'll do. For the first time in her life, she felt like a real detective. She had a serious crime to solve. You might want to get the fuck out of here. Sharp outfit to match. <gasps> Somebody else is here. I assume it's the owner. Yeah. I assume that's our dad, right? I I don't think our dad is dead. That was no cop. It's hard to see when your collar pops like that. Also, a thousand percent, yeah. I should follow him. Except we're gonna get busted by the cops like instantly. Like, yeah, that's gotta be my dad. I'm still wondering about that evidence, if I should take it or not. Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Was Jenny ready to follow the mysterious man in black? Yeah. Like, I don't know how much, like, tampering with evidence was the gonna screw me. Black. Who was he? Where was he going? There was only one way to find out. Chasing after the man in black with a duster coat. This is just the Wheel of Time series now. Where are you headed, creepy man in black? Jenny couldn't simply chase the mysterious figure. He's bound to notice me. It's Wheel of Time, isn't closely. it? I need to get out of his line of sight. Dark Tower, yeah. That's the Wheel of Time series, isn't it? Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No? Oh, have I completed things? Ah! Sorry, I meant deal the Dark Tower series. I'm not going to sprint just in case. The music in this game, though. I guess it's also fantasy. Yeah. The genre by another name is still. Yeah, okay, that lot rock looks usable, but okay. That's my way up. Yep. If only Keith was here to pull a ladder down. I'll just have to get it down the old-fashioned way. With a rock? That I just saw over here. <laughs> you think you would have noticed that somebody found the latch to his thingy G? Oh, 
I don't need to climb over this. This is stupid. Just go around the rocks. Stupid two-dimensional plane. The old faceplant method of taking a fall. Mm-hmm. Just another casual eight-foot leap. There he is. The bridge should slow him down a bit. Huh? <laughs> How did he do that? I mean, he's like twice your height and probably just fucking leaped. You know. <laughs> Kerthud. This is a weird sequence. Ragged all to avoid taking damage. Ah, the drunk's approach. Taken the higher path towards the Almas Dun Bridge. Oh, yeah. That's a dead end. Why is he going up there? Or is it? There's nowhere to hide on the bridge. I'll go underneath and spy on him from there. Hold on. Oh, this isn't going to do the thing anymore? Okay. Because this is how I came back, or in originally, so. Totally cool and normal forest. There we go. Uh, I don't know. Wait, was does this trigger anything? Okay, that's just the you're gonna leave the scene. I've pretty thoroughly investigated this place, so let's move on. Jenny couldn't just walk onto the bridge and blow her cover. Mm -hmm. No, she'd keep her distance and see what the man in black would reveal when he didn't know he was being watched. That's a dangerous game to play with a guy in a trench coat. The man in black neared the edge of the unfinished bridge. His methodical movements unnerved Jenny. I need to get a better look at him. As he a robot? I'll climb the outside of the bridge and snoop on him from there. The plan was daring, but reckless. I have no choice. He's my only lead. Okay. And so, undaunted by the dangers that lay ahead, Jenny LeClue, wearing her mother's jacket, advanced towards the bridge. Yesterday a child, today a courageous adventurer. Oh my god, dude, shush. That's why no one wants to buy your books anymore. You're over-egging it. Back in the boat. Easy does it. I don't want him to hear me coming. You will absolutely hear that motor. It's like the dead of night. And you're on a lake. People on the other side of the lake can hear you. I'd also hear you climbing all these metal rungs. So, wow, you're pacing really well for this. You should be exhausted. Scaring the birds, yep. Jenny glanced down for the first time. And immediately wished she hadn't. She clung tightly to the stone wall. The ledge beneath her feet was narrow, barely wide enough to stand on. One false move and... Focus, Jenny. <gasps> Perfect pitch! The 
hallmark of a serial killer. <laughs> Maybe I can get a closer look. I'd love to, but there's stickers to get. What if this would change based on the decision we start? Probably, yeah. So much art. And Chappie's right fucking there. So let's look at the other holes first. Like, we're going to get a jump scare here. Just prepare thyself. There you are. Extremely creepy, the identity unknown, likes long walks in the woods and children's literature. The brim of his hat concealed his face in shadow. The man in black remained an enigma. Flashlight. Could be three kids in a raincoat for all I know. He's just standing there. What's he waiting for? Yes. No. Yes. No. Wow, this guy's a real chatterbox. Yes, it's all there. Clear as day. Who is he talking to? No, it wasn't there. Yes, the whole house. She must have it. What was he looking for? Of course. Where? Hold on. What's he doing now? We're gonna get spooked here. Really? Uh huh. Ready? Ready? Where did he go? What? <gasps> A super secret spy stash? I can't hear what he's saying. Yes, I'll take care of her. Tonight. They change shifts at four. Yes, it's all here. I have to see what's on that paper. Yes, the biggest cross. I know. Wait, is it that hole? See this hole? Oh, next one. He's destroying evidence. Oh yeah. He's doing illegal shit. I have to get down there before it's lost for good. Shut your hole. Don't talk out loud. She was only distracted for a moment. But a moment was enough. Damn, how does he do that? There's got to be something up here. That's what I thought. 
Also, yes, that was a hell of a phone cord, wasn't it? Can you do that cool slide down the rails thing? They do it in every video game these days. <laughs> yeah, no ladder, ladder slide. Uh huh. Yeah, there be something over here. My gamer senses were tingling. on the bottom somewhere. Goes there. That one goes like that. It's the top left corner. Uh, nope. Beyond the fallen angel through the crumbling... Arches, yeah. This one goes here, this one goes here, this one goes here. There we go. Uh. Jenny held the soggy paper delicately. She hadn't recovered all the pieces, but enough to discern the message. Beyond the fallen angel, through the crumbling arches, past the wooden gates. The entrance is buried there. Look for the biggest cross. Don't forget to pay your respects. What could it mean? Right, we gotta go to a graveyard. There are directions to a secret entrance. <laughs> but an entrance to what? Maybe there's more in the back. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. Jenny's heart skipped so That's beats. probably not good. She remembered the man in black's words. I'll take care of her tonight. <gasps> He's going to... Jenny couldn't bring herself to say the words. Mom's in terrible danger. Thankfully, her mother was safely locked away under the watchful eyes of the police. Who shift She'd changes that for? Them. You won't have to. These instructions lead to a secret entrance. A way to get to the jail without being detected. But where? I mean... The entrance is buried there. Buried? The word bounced around her brain like a pinball. Where did people bury things? Oh my god. The graveyard! Yeah, there we go. I mean, I got there at the start, but alright. Of course! The graveyard was in the same part of town as the jail. Angels, arches, crosses on graves. All features of the graveyard. Mm-hmm. I have to get there before he does. I have to save my mom. This was all well and good, but even if she was right... I love how this is all making assumptions the man in black is trying to offer instead of help her escape. How am I going to break her out? It was at this moment a rather distressing thought popped into her head. As loath as she was to admit it, Jenny needed help she reached into her jacket pocket and removed the walkie-talkie susie had given her susie are you there Jenny? thank goodness are you okay it's like what two in the morning awful music oh i'm just rehearsing my dance for i regret asking Gee, come on, Jenny. You Fuck, come on. You wanted to. Yes. You said you wanted to. Help. Of course. Anything. 
Nothing for you, friend. Okay, Oof. meet me at the graveyard right away. At the graveyard? But it's nearly midnight. What if I get caught? It's urgent, Susie. You have to take your button I off. Know, Jenny. I don't think I can do it. I've, uh, I, I... Hmm. Let's try inspiring. Don't you see, Susie? This is your chance to prove yourself. Do you want your whole life to be dictated by your parents? Well, no, but... There comes a time when every young woman has to chart her own course. Good friend but who loves to linger on the like button. Right now, <laughs> my mom's fate hangs in the balance, and I'm the only thing standing between her and death. Which side of history will you be on? <laughs> um, the good side? Great. Then meet me outside the graveyard as soon as possible. Okay. I'll be there, yeah, Take your hand off of... Uh, whatever. What should I wear? I'm thinking practical, but colorful. I don't care. Not colorful? Just bring your silent explosives. What? What do you need explosives for? What I'm don't we? I'm break my mom out of jail. I mean, you're going to have to hide her somewhere, which seems unlikely. No, 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 no. Oh I God! <laughs> now he's sloshed. I will not be dictated to by some henpushai in an ivory tower. It's too long, too violent, too dark. These are my characters. So why does it feel like they're rebelling against me? All this fighting, all this drama, and for what? Jenny and Susie should be best friends by now. Maybe it's time to wrap this one up. End on a happy note. Yes, let's fix this nonsense once and for all. You're right, Rufus. First, I need another drink. Yes, that's what you need. Planetarium. Oh, hold on. Before we erroneously click on anything. I like how these are all basically just like the um, the mock-ups for certain scenes. Anything else? All right, I think that's all of it. One more look around. It always seems to be the one thing I can interact with, so. Tunnel. Interesting. Cemetery, police, near town hall. Richish. Oh, that's what you were talking about, richish. Hmm. The richish and the poor. <laughs> and then the super, the actual rich. I get to choose. I mean. I don't know if this... This is a weird choice. I don't like this. I'm like, does this actually change anything? Is the real question. Like, can I pick the happy ending and it's actually happy?
Looks like fate decided for me. This one can't end like the others. They won't publish it. I must write something different, something darker. It's the only chance I have of saving her. I'm sorry, Jenny. You'll see your mum soon. But for now, it's got to be the graveyard. One way or the other. Was the man in black the Dean's real killer? Without any evidence, Jenny couldn't be sure. A great detective never made assumptions. <laughs> in hell, yeah. The most important thing was getting her mum to safety. And to do that, she'd need to beat the man in black at his own game. The narrator, or the author, I guess, should be more drunk when reading these. Given what we just witnessed. That should have been a little more surly. Events had taken a dramatic turn. Jenny's head buzzed with questions. Will Susie's explosives work? Would someone want to kill my mom? Or why would someone want to kill my mom? Who is the man in black? Can I find the jail before it's too late? You probably spilled most of the brandy on the floor. Mm -hmm. The road ahead was fraught with danger, and Jenny would need all her wits to survive. One thing's for sure. I'm going to need to be very quiet. What the hell? What? Now can I find anything to inspect? Just in case. Oh, okay. Mission. Could you draw any more attention to yourself? Sorry, I just wanted to get here as quickly as I to could. To be fair, you didn't actually say that. Did you bring the explosives? Of course. Et voila. Now remember, explosives are incredibly dangerous. Yeah, thanks, Captain Obvious. Hopefully, okay. it'll be enough. Okay, I'm here. <laughs> What's the big emergency, Susie? <laughs> What is she doing here? Oh boy. Uh-oh. Keith, you came. You invited him? I thought it'd be a good opportunity for you to talk. Now is hardly the time. I can't bear the idea of two best friends never speaking again. It's too sad. What's wrong with you? Fuck, you. Susie. I should go. No, Keith, wait. There was so much she wanted to say, but she had ruined this the is some funeral, parent trap bullshit. Keith in front of the whole town. Worse, she hadn't been there for him in his hour of need. She wanted to tell him all about the Dean's ring, the man in black and the mysterious room buried in the forest. But none of it would bring his father back. Now you start with I'm sorry. Sometimes the right thing to say was also the hardest. Absolutely apologize. I... I... I'm... Sorry. Poor Keith. Angry, grieving, conflicted. His whole world turned upside down. And the one person he most wanted to confide in, he couldn't. I really should go. Goodbye, Jenny. Hmm. Well, that didn't go exactly as I planned. Are you okay, Jenny?
the record, I don't want to be mean to Susie. I'm just thinking about the Jenny that we've kind of constructed and the lines that she walks. I know she would probably want to confront Susie, but at the same time, I think she would also equate that we need Susie's help right now. And this could be something that could be hashed out later. As angry as she was at Susie, Jenny knew this was a situation of her own making. We, uh, let's just focus on the task at hand. <laughs> uh, honestly, that was a very conflicted one because I feel like the Jenny that we've done and we know what she's capable of very, very easily could have just uh, fl flipped out on Susie. But I'm trying to think like the analytical side of, of Jenny in this particular case. Ugh, locked. I'll have to break in. We haven't got a lockpicks. Or we could just wait for an adult. And let the man in black get to my mom there first. character development she's gone through. Yeah. I, I mean, see why we can't tell the police what maybe. we know and let them sort it out. Because, Be Susan, the police are incompetent. I'm not putting my mom's life in their hands. Besides, for all we know, it could be an inside job. Now, keep a lookout while I open this lock. Can you not keep fucking Susaning her? God. This is the lockpicking lawyer, and today we're going to be breaking into a graveyard. As you can see, it's a pretty standard lockmaster lock. Just gonna give it a couple of twists here. And there you have it. Yeah, bit of binding on number three. Are you coming, Susie? Into the graveyard? There's no time to waste. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm just, um... I think I need a minute. Nah, we're calling her out. Come on, Susie. What did you think we'd be doing here? And you wish you'd have asked a kid to help me. Technically, I'm three months older than you. <laughs> just wait here and keep a lookout. And radio me if you see anything suspicious. Good idea. Especially if you see a man in black carrying a briefcase and a blue umbrella. Briefcase, umbrella, got it. Lock the gate behind me so no one suspects anything. And keep out of sight. Here, don't forget the explosives. I thought we already took that. Jenny had broken in undetected. Now she had to find the secret passage that led to the jail. I just need to follow the clues from the photograph. I'm coming for you, Mom. I look at the journal now. Oh god, he'll never talk to me again. Well, we'll see. Okay, so beyond the fallen angel, through the crumbling arches, past the wooden gates. Okay, fallen angel, crumbling arches, wooden gates. Something over here I can find. Oh, is this the way to go? Oh shit, hold on. Let's go the other way. Both ways might be valid. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Off we go. All right. Fallen the angel. Guardian of the graveyard cast her stony gaze over the burial ground, watching over the departed, protecting their peaceful slumber. Why must everything in a graveyard be so well, creepy? Of course, this guardian had wings. Beyond the fallen angel. There are lots of angels here. Which one is the fallen angel? Not that one. Yeah, that angel ain't fallen. That angel right there uh, was a really cool character in Diablo 2. This 
Strasbury Mausoleum. Amongst oh, the looks fresh cool. flowers was a note. Beloved father, educator, and botanist, your memory will forever blossom in our hearts. Don't worry, Mr. Strasbury. Final boss of Diablo 3 expansion. Yes, that's true. Though so that would arguably be the fallen angel. Here lie the earliest settlers of Arthurton. They kickstarted our great town's growth and prosperity. Okay. The note had read, look for the biggest cross. But none of these graves have crosses. No matter. Perhaps there were other secrets to find here. Quiet camp. The plan never went according to itself. Here lie, uh, oh, hold on. Here lies Ada, please say hello. Drone Brawn, only his nickname was Floppy. Weird, all right. Okay, hold on, so the thing's somewhere around here. Where is it? Oh, there you are. Yeah. -ha! Disco buried far below ground, where all the deepest grooves were found. Kendrick and Donna, happy as hippos from le uh, from life to the end. Benito McDonald, art now and forever, amen. Rocco, one great dog. Morgan Eminski, what goes up must come down. Edwin Tiong, trapped in the pursuit from which there was no escape. Brendan Liu, ran out of lives, will forever impact ours, game over. Matt Neo, uh, Neo King, or Nito King Kat, uh, Katniss, weird. Kevin Clark, so is this all of the uh a certain tier of kickstarters hazel uh quantock surely all of the wonders of the world the horizon is surely the greatest Ooh, cool sticker michael v shaw senior husband father friend forever in our hearts vacancy rent to own <laughs> yeah they kickstarted this town yeah Cool sword. That sword looks like it might move. Okay. Interesting. Don't know what that's for yet. Okay, the angels all point. Okay. So there's probably some chain of angels. How am I going to get up there? Uh, thing that has to happen here. Changels? Is that anything? Okay, we'll head up this one. Kazoo <laughs> Something's pushing against the stone. It looks like it could collapse at any minute. How many of these All fucking these puzzles? Of solid granite with something carved into the face. It's all scrambled up. I'll just straighten them out. But try as she might, the discs wouldn't move. Five stone swords adorned the strange entryway. Jenny tried to move one. Wow, they're all 
all stuck tight. I can't move any of them by hand. Hmm. Okay. Well, that answers that question. What the angels are for. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Cool disco angels. Okay. We have a, a, a rubric, I guess, for this. All right, so. What do we got here? We got cool slant, arm down, you're pointing down. Then the next one is cool slant the other way. Oh, you've got busted wings. Go we'll slant the other way. You got big ol' wings. You're pointing up. And, oh, you only have one wing. That's a thing to note. Okay, and then the next one. Go we'll slant in that way. Creepy thing. You got two wings. And you're pointing straight ahead. And then we got Angel going this way. There's that thing. You're pointing kind of down. You got that wing and a busted wing. Okay. And then we got one more. Slanted that way. Groupy thing. Pointing that way. And you got two wings. For those that are curious, my very good diagram right there. Probably just going to hold on. Where's my zoom? There you go. My very good diagram. Okay. So now we know what that's about. Or what we need the angels for. And I guess we need to do those before we can do other crap. Cool. So. The one pointing that way with two wings is pointing in the right direction. So that one can't be moved and it's fine. So we just go do the other four. Oh, Dad's grave. Hey, Dad. I can't stay long. Mom's in trouble, and, well... Jenny tried to be brave. But the past few days had taken their toll on our hero. And finally, it all poured out. Everything's falling apart. I wanted a real mystery to solve, but... <clears throat> I didn't think it would be like this. Not like this. Dean Strasbury's dead. Like this. Everyone in town thinks mom killed him, and, and Keith won't talk to me. I don't know who to trust. And now someone is trying to kill mom, too. I you don't to know her, that. I'm not sure I can. Why did you have to go and die on us? It was a really crappy move. <laughs> All right, fair enough. I wish you were here. All right, so. Uh, the right pointing angel with the busted wing. Yeah, it goes... I think there? Hold on, how far can this go? Hmm. Yeah, I think there. Okay. Wait, hold on. Yeah, no, not there. Uh, we go with there. Okay. All right. Then we got right pointing angel with one busted wing. You also point down. Okay.
How's this thing looking? Alright. It might all come out at once. But I can't believe they're still making us do the whole disc spin puzzle. It's wild. Wild! That that keeps coming up. I hope they have a fun thematic explanation for it. Alright, uh, Sephiroth over here is pointing up. Disco Stew here is pointing. Oops. Right there. Shing, 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 shing. All right. There's that puzzle solved. Moving on. Now I get to spin four discs. I bet this is going to be really irritating because it's not going to operate the same as the other ones have where you have to like start from the outside and work your way in because I bet some of the wheels will turn like the inner two or whatever the hell. Yeah, just like that. And next wheel just does that one. Next wheel. Okay. Okay. There. And you go there. Today on the Lockpicking Lawyer, we're going to be solving this disc spinning puzzle. Jenny studied the stone discs, now perfectly aligned. It's the face of a badger. That's unusual. Oh, yeah. That's fun. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, that's normal. This is fine. Something tells me this isn't a tomb. Oh, another one of these. If the huge coiling wires hadn't made it clear, the hulking metallic shells <clears throat> certainly did. This isn't a tunnel. This is a very this expensive entrance monster. to another laboratory, just like the one in the forest. How many of these are there? Yes. The presence of such unusual and foreign objects in Arthurton begged even bigger questions. Who put them here, and for what purpose? Yeah, it's not it like we're in a rush or anything. The graveyard itself had been built around the sphere, a perfect hiding place. If something this conspicuous could be so easily concealed, what else is Arthurton hiding? All right, so I guess we're doing this now. Mm -hmm. Now into the Shadow Temple. Nah, it's just another orb puzzle. We know it's working. As a dozen intricate machines word to life, Jenny noticed a remarkable resemblance she had overlooked before. Some of this equipment looks like the stuff in Susie's room. Yes, it does. I can't believe I missed it before. I that noticed that. Me some answers. Well, she's buying surplus military gear. Another okay. radio. Maybe these are used to communicate between laboratories. It was a hunch, but if it were true. Whoever's transmitting the message could be in another sphere somewhere in town. Okay, so first, they can all go the same way. Next, I gotta see what the hell. 
Alright, uh, uh, uh. Okay, cool. Okay. Nope. There we go. Good enough. It's the same voice as before. This code was different from the last. Just as strange, though. Jenny carefully transcribed the words into her journal. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the hawk and the weasel have to say about this. Sixty, one, two, three, four. Uh, Fifty-nine, sixty, one, two, three, four, five. Uh. Why isn't that one showing up? Okay. What's this one? Hawk and Weasel. Uh, Weasel 56. Hawk 41. Uh, uh, um. Okay. Sheep 40. That's still, hold on, what? Oh, because it's rabbit, not sheep. I'm a dummy. You're sheep. Wolf 26. It's a wolf 26. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 3, 2, 4, 6. Uh, 5, 4, 3, one soon. Sixty six. Forever. Oops, twenty one. And rabbit seventeen. Purge infected. infected. Soon only soon death. Only forever death. silenced. Despair herself forever is near. Silenced. Despair herself is near. This message, as sinister as the last, sent Jenny's All analytical right. <laughs> mind into overdrive. Is the man in black sending these messages? Purge infected, forever silenced. Could that have something to do with Dean Strasbury? It can't be a coincidence that I found a copy of the same book by the Dean's corpse. But how are they connected? How indeed? Soon only death, despair herself is near. <clears throat> and now they're coming for my mom. What does she know that they're willing to kill her for? Again, making assumptions. This machine's not busted this time. This contraption was new to Jenny, but something about it caught her eye. Uh, right. Dean's ring. Give me a second here. Aha! Doesn't seem to be working. Probably just a loose connection somewhere. Oh, go back. I didn't want to do the wiring. I didn't want to do the wiring. Uh... Oh my god. Jenny knew that the best way to fix anything electronic was... To mess around with it until all the lights come on.
There we go. If being a great detective didn't work out, yeah, Jenny had a promise. I think it could be reverse threaded screws, I guess. But yeah, no. It's still not working. Maybe I'm missing something. Yes, the thing in the middle that I haven't messed with yet. A large metallic slab with a distinctive indentation carved into its surface. That shape. Yes. Where have I seen it before? The Dean's ring. Yes. I'm glad they're making us do this puzzle just again. It's like you in the pipes last night. It fits. In fact, it fits perfectly into the slot, as though it were made for it. This hole was made for me. Grr, 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 grr. Machine's true application would remain a mystery for now, but whatever its purpose, Exploding. the implications <laughs> were overwhelming. Dean Strasbury is somehow connected to this place. Had the Dean been aware of the secret hiding within his ring? Whether he knew or not, it's likely he was killed because of it. Let's, yeah, take that back real quick. What's this? Hidden amongst a web of cables, the average eye would have missed it. But Jenny Leclue was a great detective. There's a book pinned beneath that cable. Confidential. Confidential. The word was music to Jenny's ears. the one sticker boy there's a lot going on here huh okay well let's start reading <clears throat> oh what's this this looks important Zero minus one over six and zero over seven. I don't know what that's for, but that seems specific. Entry one. At last, today we begin Project Excelsior. Thanks to our wonderful benefactors. Okay, maybe that thing I wrote down isn't anything. Who are the benefactors? I don't see the asterisks. Side note. No. Standing inside my lab, it's exactly as I'd hoped. Perfectly concealed, it's a real thing of beauty. I call it the Zazer Sphere. Blah. Nigel thinks it's pretentious to name it after myself. Okay, so yes, you're Zazer. Let's see him design a geodesic structure that can uh, withstand such incredible external forces. Whatever we call it, we'll finally be able to study and harness the power of Arthur, Arthurton's greatest resource. Side note, uh, Nigel keeps mispronouncing my name. I swear he's doing it on purpose. It's Professor Zazer, like, or Zazer, like laser with a Z. How hard is that? 
Who are the Council of Three? Hope the money doesn't dry up. The Council of Three? Never heard of him. Sounds like he didn't know who they were either. But they paid for all of this? Mm-hmm. Zazer. Jenny recognized the name. Did you? Couldn't put her finger on where she'd heard it before. So this lab is his invention. He called it a Zazer Sphere. Well, at least I've got a name. These machines were built to study and harness the power of Arthurton's greatest resource. The rocks. They were experimenting on the town itself. Is that all the clues on the first page? Seems like it. Okay. This page. Crap all got ripped out. Entry 103, another sphere fully operational. The project continues to grow. Every time we start an experiment, we discover a new property to examine. Each result further supporting my theories. This town is special. That said, I find my time largely spent moving between laboratories. I'm tired of managing. I want to get my hands dirty. A Ferris wheel. Oh, the irony. Cute. Side note said something else. I mean, it did, but I don't know if it highlighted. Yeah, no. Uh, entry 104. New lab idea. Toying with the designs for a newer, much more ambitious, larger facility. He designed a bigger sphere. Bigger than this? Did he ever build it? And if he did, where? Observatory. If my calculations are correct, it should be capable of up to 1,200 output or percent output capacity. This can propel us into a whole new world of possibility. Okay. Miner, ask Mr. Gray again for face to take with management or face to face with Benjamin. Are they avoiding me? I'm starting to wonder if they even exist. Strange. Asked around, no one's met them. Who are they? Who are they? Smex his nose here. Entry two eight eight. Terrible setback. Spotted an anomaly in the badger experiment too late. There was a badger on the door to get into this lab. So this must be the experiment he was talking about. Of course, Mr. Ray and Mr. Blue showed up just in time to witness the explosion. Plasma everywhere. All units lost. Mr. Blue nearly lost an eye. Not looking forward to debriefing on Friday. That's going to set us back weeks. Entry 289. Okay. Days blurring together. Every experiment brings us closer to unlocking the seemingly impossible. But the number of strange is that... <laughs> Strange incidents that the lab now continues to grow. Would you call them unforeseen incidents? Okay. Entry 297. More setbacks, more unwelcome interruptions. Exhaustion plus rust, a rush schedule equals dangerous conditions. Exhaustion, rushed schedule, dangerous conditions. Sounds familiar. The parallels with her father's own working conditions were distressingly clear. Why do they insist we run the new test this weekend? It's just not ready. We need to enhance safety protocols and be vigilant to avoid any more contaminations or accidents. I'm starting to think that they aren't in this for the right reasons. Someone followed me at home again last night. Who are they? The Council of Three. You've got order, progress, and knowledge. Knowledge and ignorance, prog progress is corruption, and order is self-destruction. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Three nine two, uh, three four two. Been sleeping in the lab. Nothing to come home to. What am I even doing here? What are we really trying to accomplish? I must believe that our personal sacrifices are worthwhile. Serve a greater purpose. All my fault. I don't know. Is it three eighty five? Was so naive. Can't get the faces out of my mind. The screams. The darkness. The hole will never the be filled. Echoed across all dead. All my fault. All my fault. All my fault. Tragedy. What did he do? It must have been terrible. All right, final page. Entry 621. What a bittersweet feeling. After seven years, we're finally getting stable, repeatable results. But the cost has been great. The output ratio is incredible, but we're only just beginning to unlock the potential. In the right hands, this could change the world. The new lab is nearly operational, but I'm not sure we are. 
As always, they'll push it too far, but full output will take years. Perhaps there's still some time to make amends for what happened. Safety is the top priority. People is greater than progress. Hmm. This entry is from much later. There are lots of pages missing. It seems that whatever happened before, he carried on his work long after. As is the case in all Tangled Mysteries, every new piece of evidence raised more questions than it answered. But she now knew the purpose of this Caesar Sphere, and the name of the people who had built it. The Council of Three. It wasn't much to go on, but it was a start. Oh. What's this? Another blank scrap of paper. Nigel, please stop writing this code down. Memorize it and destroy this immediately, Caesar. <laughs> Authorization code to begin. One, zero, two, eight. Code accepted. System authorized and armed for activation. Aha. Do some weird shit. Preparing to run experiment 12, cycle 78. Sphere hermetically sealed. Magnetic transducer coils charging. Accumulating voltaic cells. Commencing experiment 12 91. It wasn't this cycle 78. So this is where the whole city's power dream's going, yeah. Yeah, it seems fine. Yeah, totally normal. Safety margins cleared. Procedure 12 completed successfully. All right, a little full doo doo doo. Remember, a healthy employee is an effective employee. Please leave the station for your mandatory 15 minute smoking break. Ah, the 60s. I wonder what it did. At least I wasn't covered in plasma. We go. Oh, wait, down. All right. There we go. We can run again. I mean, it moved all the angels. I wonder why they said plasma everywhere. Do you think they meant super hot matter or do you think they meant blood? I mean. Por que no los dos? Okay, so we can't interact with them or observe a change in them. I was just wondering if there'd be some flavor there. Okay. Onwards to the newly dropped ladder. Also, this is a just a buck wild graveyard sign. Jimmy, did you find the entrance? Not yet. Jenny was hesitant to share her discovery. But Susie might have vital information. That's a good lab equipment. Where did you really get the parts to build your machines? 
I told you, there's a warehouse full of them at my father's factory. And that's the only place you've seen equipment like that? Well, yeah. Where else would I have seen it? Nah, I can trust her. Did the Glatz Corporation ever build underground labs? No, I don't think so. Why would they? To hide them? From who? Good question. I, I have to go. Keep out of sight and let me know if you see anyone. I will. Good luck, Jenny. Okay, is there anything else I can observe over here? Crap I can find. No? Okay, up we go. Purpose of Zazer Sphere is to cause ladders to drop and open shortcuts. Mm hmm. go like it can't be coincidence that the uh, observatory back there is a big round sphere and is insane. Okay, crumbling arches, right? I like how if you run for a while, she's like out of breath. Beyond the fallen angel. This is it. The entrance must be through here. The lake was the master sphere? Oh, maybe. Another coded message in another hidden laboratory. A secret tunnel under the graveyard. How long had these things been in Arthurton? Who was responsible for them? And how was all this connected to the Dean's murder? Indeed. Well, we're not going to find out right now. We're going to find out next time. It's uh, basically midnight, and that's a nice clean break-off point. And it quits. Yes. You're ending before 1 a.m. It does happen. I like it when Adventure Games actually give me a clean breaking point, instead of having to use my own bad judgment on when to do that. Yeah, that's going to do it for us tonight. Um, yeah, we're definitely just more and more and more weird secrets. Um, and, and things going on. Um, yeah, I don't even know what to make heads or tails of all that. I'm still maintaining that dad's not dead. I mean, he might, he might be, but it feels like a very easy thing for dad to not be dead. Arthurton's completely artificial. Um, yeah, I think the city was built on top of, or originally, Arthurton was built um, because they found, like, the, the gems in the mine, right? So they built a mining town. Um, but it's possible that it was expanded on and, you know, grown out artificially in order to you know, do whatever nefarious stuff they're doing. Um, but we don't know exactly what that translates to. Um, but yeah, that, uh, we'll have to, we'll have to wait and see. Um, that's, that's the end of the stream tonight. To study the materia. Exactly. They're trying to get into the live stream. Um, trying to tap into that Mako energy, etc. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for uh, me tonight. I'll be back tomorrow um, with probably more indie games. Unless, uh, Poker Freak, you want to do more of that circuit game. Um, so either the circuit game that we were playing before or other indie games that I have to pull off of itch. We'll find out. But regardless, that's all I'm doing tonight. So as always, thank you, of course, for watching. And until next time, stay safe, have fun. Uh, 
Be kind and be good to yourself. Goodbye.